Kentucky's best <laughs> in like can koozies and a pack of Shakopee Marlboro High Reds. School hallway. Just oh, she went to Shakopee too. Oh yeah, she was an Indian. What? Yeah, it was Shakopee Indian. I thought she was white. Native American. No, this was the Shakopee Indians before it switched. Oh, to it's the like Sabres. the Burnsville Braves. Yep. So my dad was an Indian too. That's very racist. <laughs> is it? Yeah. I well, I suppose Shakopee has a big statue it? of what's how do you pronounce it? Shakope. Shakope. Midawakatan Sioux. Right. Yeah. Can you imagine being a Native American and not being like just in the poor tribe that doesn't get yeah, any no, Red no Lake, money? Red Lake or like something like that. It's hard. It's all trailers. Yeah, not, not struggling. Not drugs. Shoot Midawakan it's drugs. That gets... That's where Brady came from. Red Lake. Who? The goat. Tom? Not Tom, not Brady. Tom Brady. Oh, the dog. The dog. Fuck You're this do- fucking okay, piece all, of shit. This Michael can't. Vick is not fucking motherfucker over here, dude. Oh. You know? Wow. Hey, look at Vick's all over the TV. He's still making money. Yeah, he is. Greg ain't. I love, I wish Vic, I wish his brother Marcus would have done something. I wish he had a kid, little Jimmy Vic. And all I know is when Just I got for that, Madden purposes. All I know is when I got that Peerless Price jersey. Peerless Price. When he was a rookie and I was like, him and Vic, that's going to be it. It. No, it was Roddy, the it Roddy Waddy, Roddy Waddy White. Roddy White. That, that motherfucker, he's got to have a couple of felonies yeah. for sure. <laughs> You know, those <laughs> yeah. motherfuckers, you're rolling around with Michael Vick. ATL. Bro. You think playing with Aaron Hernandez was bad. You're playing with Michael Vick in his heyday. Like, I hey, try- bro, welcome to the team. Want to come to a dog fight? I tried to watch that stupid Hulu thing that you recommended. Hulu thing I recommended. About the broad on trial right now. Talking about, about Kim the- Potter or Poe, whatever the fuck? No, no I'm talking about, about the, the chomo. Child, the child oh. molester on trial. Oh, I didn't watch it yet. The Epstein case. I just saw that there was a documentary that they... Had. Or you're like, must watch. It's dumb. And he's never it's watched dumb? it. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like anything about her, but we got to... Her dad was a badass. Well, that's good to know. Crook. Huge crook. <clears throat> yeah. M-B-C. That was Let's horrible. M. What do you get when you put two Minnesotans and a guy from Wisconsin together? Twist. The Week in Sports Talk. Get ready for some sports chatter where there's sure to be laughing, arguing, and maybe even crying. Now, here are your hosts, Mike Reeves, Matt Benz, and Greg Green Bay Bauman. You 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 (laughs) You know what's so funny about that intro video? Everything. How bad you look. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like, you're going to watch this episode later today. I know you will. And then just watch the intro and look how fucking not put together you look. I have you said have it. wrinkles in your I've shirt. said it on the, the show before. Too big for you. Like, you're usually pinned up and, oh, man. You're the one that complains all the time about how you looked. Uh, right. And I think I still look all right. I mean. Yeah, you looked fine. The best is Greg. He just turns around and just gives you the Greg. Magnum. Magnum. (laughs) But no, I've said it live on this show before. I'm pissed that I wore... Like, why couldn't I wear a Viking jersey? Think about that poor guy that made that video. Yeah. Never got anything from us. No. He took him to the cleaner. He was trying to get us to the studio. He was trying to get us to the And T-Money came in with uh, NBC Multicast. And uh, Gabe gave us the NBC money under the table, uh, the briefcase, and then Tevin showed up in the lumber. Well, luckily for Tevin's sake, Gabe did a cut because we're about out (laughs) with Gabe. I mean, we love Gabe. (laughs) We love Gabe. We were like, what the fuck is going on here? There's no audio. Like, we're not even live. Are we live? I think Gabe just saw how much talent we had and he just fucking got hard also yeah, like he did when when you guys first started here that was when we like had first started really getting into this yeah and there were some mistakes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think it's funny that first we, started we used when we first got here yeah. gabe took us on the tour of the upstairs yeah yeah this is where the offices are this is what we're doing and now it's like we don't even walk around the upstairs no i have because no it's idea not who those people are it's it, a television yeah, studio yeah. And not only that gabe what did he do? He brought us down here and we like did the show and he's got fucking like 
Google up the whole fucking time or some yeah. shit. Yeah, he <laughs> just well, he he had too many balls. He was trying to uh, juggle. Yeah, yeah. It we was, needed it a uh, lot. That's where that's when Matt really had a lot of critiques to. He was very involved early on. Yeah, here. And now I just fucking he yeah, barely comes. I'll, I'll, I'll here. I'm here today. So welcome in welcome episode seventy six. Jesus, fuck. Steve Hutchinson. Hutch. H O F. Yeah. H O F. Title of the show: Not Tom Brady. Yeah. Why is it Why is it titled that, Matt? We got a uh, We got a dog. Twist got a dog. A real no. dog, too. Not none of them fucking show poodle bullshit. <laughs> that is the last time yeah. we'll have seen <laughs> yeah. Not none of that <laughs> fucking... Not none of that dog. Chinese breeds. We oh, went, we went man. American. We went German Shepherd with a lab that, mix. Those ugly dogs. Dude's you got know? a $5,000 chick magnet. Well, what yeah. I really yeah. wanted to do, I wanted to bring some... some uh, uh, what's the word I'm thinking? Some color into my household. Okay, so what do I do I find a beautiful little dog. A black dog. Correct. So by color, you mean... Privileged. Black. Bring it into the home. It's like adopting. Oh it's kind of like blindside. It's what? like blindside. Oh, my God. I went Saving the, black you know, adopt, You are not I, Tim McGraw. I adopted, but it's a puppy. Close. So, of color. Close. Yeah. He's not going to the NFL. No, he's not. But I've seen that Brady. dog. It's not going in the NFL. It's no. not going to. It's not going to Westminster. Well, it's it ain't going anywhere with Greg alone. I'll tell you that because it it's won't going on a walk home. with Maddie after yeah. the show. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, you Mama's it. got him at the dog park. I'm gonna give it a year before you and Taylor have the discussion about taking it to the farm. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, Greg. Oh Just, God, Greg's got hamsters and no. Turtles. First of all, they're guinea pigs yeah. and turtles. Rodents. And turtles. Yeah, and he's you know, judging you know, me for having a fucking man's best friend. You know what I don't have to do? Be home every four hours so the thing doesn't shit on the carpet. That's <laughs> yeah, what kennels for. Either. If you trade just them, lock you it up. Have to. You have a crazy. Right. Great. Right. I get what you're saying, though. People that shouldn't have animals. That's have my animals. point. All That's right. always been so my let's point. Let's leave it at that because otherwise you sound like you fucking hate animals. I don't hate animals. All right. All right, well, we are live. <laughs> Northeast Minneapolis NBC Multicast Studios and every show is brought to you by Bricks Boatworks yeah. and Minnesota Dock and Lift. Mm. Head over to mndockandlift.com. Oh, speaking of them, I have to talk to you about them. I need You don't have a boat. You don't have a boat or a dock. No, but um, we're going to get a uh we're going to get a nice house. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. Yeah. Otter. That's that's what they do in the winter portable? months. What's that? You're going to go fish? We're going to get a portable one. Yeah, Connor wants to do oh, a lot of You got to get that otter. Say, just tell me when you're going to go. I'll go. I'll take the boy out. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm not allowed Uncle to Matt's be. I'm, this. I'm not allowed to be Uncle around Mike, your dog. Uncle Mike won't even touch the fucking fish. No, he no. won't put the worm on the hook. He won't do any of that. Shit. Even in my hate Ashbury days, you wouldn't see me in a box with a hole in the ice. You know, you couldn't get you me drunk enough. Up. You, you couldn't have got me game. drunk enough. No, right. I hate the cold. Give me an update. Tell me some good news. Yeah, let's start this show. Let's kick it off. Yeah. We're already fired up. Ha! So, first up, we have the fantasy football update. All right, yeah. so we've been gone a few weeks, and uh, when we talked last, we were going to know the uh, who made it to the championship, mm. who won the championship, and who is plunging. Yep. The plunge. So, let's get into, when did we, uh, when were we here last? I think we had, what? Two weeks ago. Yep. So week ten was the last week. Yep. And I beat Tevin to go to six and four and to make it to the championship. Okay. GBG and Ben's faced off. I lost. Ben's beat GBG oh. to go to six and four and make it to the championship. I made it to the ship. You made it I to lost. the ship after starting zero and four. After starting zero and four. That's what happens four. when you're just an elite. Fantasy mind. Who loses your first four games. Right. And the championship. Shit happens. You're great. Well, hey, at least I got there. Where were you at? I'm planning Fuck for next year. So yeah. the championship Rebuild. was a two-week championship. Yeah, Weeks 11 and week 12. Your take. How much did I lose by? How many points? Total? Total yep. for two weeks? Yep. 42. That's a good guess. 30. Twist Nation? We have a back-to-back -back champ. Matt won. Back to back of order in the ring tonight. Let's go. No he not only won, he whooped my ass. Well, he had Jonathan Taylor. Oh. That's right. So in, in week 11, 50.4. 50 yeah. So just, just for a points comparison on how not close this was. So week 11, it was 
111.26 to 52.74. Wow. Week 12, we both sucked 58.7 to 51.4. So grand total 169.96 to 104.14. So Benji. Um, that one's for you, Tevin. Benji we, we won again. He's home, not plunging again. Yeah. I'll t- talk to you guys next year. Unbelievable. After starting off 0 4. 4, dude. Do you believe in miracles? That's just what happened, man. We yeah, just that don't sucked. give a fuck. That, that sucked. Yeah. That hurts. Uh, I'm going to have to get another ring now. We'll get a different color this time. Are you actually going to show up to the Polar Plunge? No, video you know us? he's not. Well, last year they wouldn't let... If he doesn't show up, I'm not jumping. <laughs> last, last year they wouldn't let anybody except that were registered plungers. That's true. So, of course, if you guys do... It, so, yeah. the same three are plunging again. I'm going to have to get it. Maybe I'll plunge this in the and Teen Greg's Wolf. Greg's plunging in a dress, right? I'm plunging in the Teen Wolf. Greg, Greg you're plunging in a dress? I, since well, he's never worn it. Yeah, okay, I'll do, I'll do that. It doesn't have to okay. be some I'll do that. fucking. You can wear some. Well, yeah, I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear j- swim trunks underneath it. Yeah, of course. Right. Yeah, but I'm but saying I'll wear, I'll wear you a dress. Can kill two birds with one stone. Okay, I'll like ju- I'll plunge as Teen Wolf. Oh, you're gonna, gonna ru- your you're gonna ruin you're gonna ruin that. Up. Don't ruin that. That's a good gift. Good that is costume. a great looking. Holmesy Ben's gets married, and the only thing he has time. <laughs> he only has limited time to do the show. It's not a coincidence, dude. I wish that dude, was the reason. Holmes, fuck. Aren't you like engaged? Yeah, Combs. Yeah, talk shit. When well, you that's fucking, he did have a lady on there down. next yeah, to him. Yeah. So, well, Combsy's <coughs> Combsy does the Man Hour Nation now, but he's yeah. Where's Buck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. We do have a lady in there. So no, there's a lady. Hopefully she's yeah. not listening. Hopefully she is. Actually, we want everybody to listen. Yeah, <laughs> well, congrats, well. Ben's. Fuck off. Yep. Thank wow. you. That sucks. Back Make it, back. and this is you know, it's one thing to win money in like a real league, and that's fun. This and is way worse. I'm plunging again. Yeah. This yeah. is horrible, and it's a great one for you to do. And there's no it. COVID. Yeah, so, now we so we're gonna really be we're gonna be plunging off ice. of like ice into yeah. water. And then you go in the hot tub. And yeah. don't tell me that last year was not cold because last year sucked. Last you'll year see sucked. when you plunge this year, and you'll be like, oh yeah, Ben's. My right. body went into shock if as soon knew, as my if you toes hit it. Stay in this water for like thirty seconds. You'd probably fuck it. I remember being so pissed off last year after it that because you you get out of the water because yep. we all went on we had to run we, yeah yep, and, it, and, it, and then they have like the heating room yeah but you get out of that and you're still cold I looked at Mike and Tevin and I'm like fuck this I'm leaving yeah. and I just went to Mike I had to drive Mike to his car because I was parked closer and I was so pissed off the whole time because it was like. There was no way around it. You were going to be miserable for yeah. 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's a great bet. Bad. I love it. Have fun. All right. Next. What do you got next for us, Devin? <laughs> All right. <laughs> next up, we have a new game that we are going to be playing today titled Who Am I? Who Am I? So we're waiting. GBG ordered uh, rounds two and three of the initials because we don't fucking peek. We those, read those dry. Those so I came up oh, just, like, <laughs> just like the olden days, came up with memory. a game. Oh, yeah, this is bringing me back, man. Who am I? So, Tevin, yeah. okay, the, GBG, the, and Benz. We've played this game once before. We have played it. I remember thinking that the funniest part about this is when Mike did it, <laughs> there was not one female that he did. <laughs> the entire thing. There's like 10 different things. You know what that means? There's not one this time either. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. Who am I? Oh, wait, Your uh, name th- is your buzzer. And Tevin's in on this. Tevin is in. <laughs> has ties to the Beach Boys. Was a famous uncle. Greg. John Stamos. Ding, 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 ding. I'm going to get zero. Of this. I, got, I had it's this as Beach Boys. No, His wife no was blue in an X Men no film. Okay. He was Dr. Tony Gates on ER. Claim to fame show sequel airs on Netflix, and he lived in a full house. Those are good clues. I am John Stamos. Oh, I, I was trying to figure out. I thought this was a new no. one. Yeah. I'm just reading them off. Jesus, I put the work in. Question number two. I had relations with one of the most famous women in history. I went to Harvard. I served in the Navy. Greg. John F. Kennedy. Fucking it! And I knew it, too! <laughs> I knew it after the first fucking two, and I didn't say anything. Uh, God damn I actually, it! I actually was going to say Joe DiMaggio. My brother was thing. famous. I was shot in the head. I am John F. Kennedy. I fucking hate this. This is why I don't even show up. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> Holmes, what's up with man hour? Can I do that from fucking home? home? Yeah. Jesus. Number three, I am Canadian. Feel the rhythm. Feel the ride. Ooh. Matt. Matt. I can't think of his name. God damn it. I was Macaulay Culkin's uncle. 
Oh, what the fuck? I was seen in the art outdoors. Greg. John Candy. Yeah. Ding, Damn ding, it. ding. I was thinking Damn. John Goodman for some reason. Feel the rhythm. Feel yeah, the ride. I can see Step him. on up. It's push card just time. Just watch Home it's Alone card too. Time. We, Does we have someone keeping score? Yeah, three nothing. Okay. It's pretty easy. Yeah, we're just tallying yeah. your points. <laughs> it's all right, Greg. Good for you, you fucking piece of shit. How many total do we have? Well, we have... Oh, if he does a game, there's about 35 fucking... Okay. We have nine, sure. but if, if we're tied... Sure that there's enough time for my comeback. Yep. I have a get one. How about that? I have a documentary coming out soon. I was born in Minnesota. Matt was, Prince? No. <laughs> was Prince born here, though? Yeah. Okay. I was drafted yeah, in the 21st too. round by the Eagles. I also coached. I also commentated. I am a video game. Greg. Kevin. Greg. John Mann. Correct. Oh, he's from here. If you haven't seen, there's a theme yet. He's from here? Born oh, in Minnesota. They're all named... John. John. John Stamos. John F. Kennedy. John Candy. Prince, Matt <laughs> says. What's John Prince? Oh, now, now there's a fucking <laughs> theme. Right. There, there was a theme last time, too. I like to see we don't tell all the rules at the beginning yeah, of the show. Whatever. Well, I figured you'd yeah, just keep going segment here. segment is fucking tame. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. All right. So who got that last one? Greg. GBG. Oh, for nothing. Four nil. Here I come. Ready? I was down 4-0 before. We're coming. I was down 4-0 before. And I'm Shake and bake. I had a stepbrother. Tevin. Tevin. John. Fuck, I don't know his last name. Sure, I, the, I can't think of it either. Really headed fuck though. I know. Damn it, I don't got it. Ralph wrecked it. I had some boogie nights and I eat Gilbert grapes. I am. Shake and bake. Yeah, I yeah, know. Stepbrother. I understand. Oh, I can see him. I don't know. His Doge. Name. I'm giving the same clue. Hey, what is it? Oh my gosh. I am John. C. John C. Riley. Riley. Oh, count, and Fuck. Doge is on the board. I couldn't think of his All name. Right, so now I need to run the table to tie. You missed the best movie that he was in for Love of the Game when he was the catcher. Oh, yeah. Well, Boogie Nights is damn good. Yeah. I've never hated GBG more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I was born blank Roger Stevens. Or John Roger Stevens, Tevin. since we all know. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm just kidding. Sorry. Wrong. I have a famous wife. I turn chairs. I'm a Grammy Award winner. Tevin? Yep. John Legend? Yeah, there Let's you go, go Tevin! Yes! <laughs> you got one, baby. You got, now you got to get the rest, T. We got 4 one, one. Yeah, because I can't get one. Otherwise, it'll fuck you over. That's, so that's you're the only that's one. That's you that's versus Greg right I'm now. married to Emily Blunt. Greg. John Krasinski. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. That's, that's crazy because I'm like, nobody's going to get this... it off his wife. Like, nobody knows people's wife. Uh, all my excitement just went away. Yeah. You might have got the next. People mistake me for a sports writer. The other John Krasinski. Get it? Oh. The athletic. Oh, you would have. Oh, that's what I thought you were talking wow. about. Wow. Glad we ordered again. No. My other wife was Pam. <laughs> so I can, worked in an office. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. So you can lose at another game than me? I, I've, I'm your biggest Question number eight. Start muting GBG's mic. <laughs> is it, is I was a f- not? What's that? I'm your biggest competition in that game. Yes. Okay. Right. Which, which is two that No, game. don't. That Just played. let it, me have it. I was a former rapper. I was a bull. Ferdinand. Greg. John Cena. <laughs> Who likes him? I hate John Cena. <laughs> Who likes this guy? Oh, and last, China just for you. fun. Love My wife died last year. Greg, John Travolta. <laughs> he loves the John, bro. So, He's all about the John. Okay, but here's something. I had, hold on, yeah, Kevin. Go ahead, T. Yeah, I need something. Okay, so I, I had a hit single, single letter in that was a top 10 on the billboard. I want to hear this. Letter in, John yeah, Travolta. And nobody's copywriting John Travolta. No, it was a top Bro, ten on the Billboard know, Hot 100. Don't get us flagged. We need all the money from YouTube that we get. What's the name of the song again? Letter in. We can't lose the monetization that we have right now. And I did have John Goodman, John Wayne, John Mayer, and John Lennon, just right. in case it was close, but it was not close. Did you really think it was going to be close? John Travolta. Wow, look at him. Oh, dude. Scientology to the fullest right here, dude. Do you watch him in Scientology? VH1. Do you know that? Shh. Hey, hey. 
Something she said has stuck in my head and I can't go away. Wow. Right now, our That's listening Greece. audience is like, How do you think we got the grease, bro? Vinny Barbarino. Got the gold chain outside oh, of the turtleneck. You think he on. does it? It's a flow. Oh. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a sex symbol. Oh, my God. All right. That's a classic. I can see why it was top 10 on the billboard. Unbelievable. Good for him. Good for him. That was great. Thanks for finding that for us, T. Yeah. Anytime. All right. What do we got next? <laughs> up, we have... Let's go over here. Oh, here we go. Pop, culture, happy hour. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I'll go first. All right. Pop, culture, happy All hour. All right. 2,500 volts came in. They are tallied. Wow. 2,500 votes. <laughs> Real... Red blooded Americans. Okay. 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 Top five greatest Christmas films of all. Oh. Time. Okay. Are they in order? Yeah. Okay. I'll go five to one. Perfect. Die At hard. Number five. Die hard. At number five, Shitter's Full Christmas Vacation. I like that one a lot. It should be a lot higher. Next one. Well, Mike, let's hear what we got. Number going. four, Mike's favorite. I shot it in my eye. What? Number, number four? four? That's blasphemy. Number three. That's number three? blasphemy. Nightmare Before Christmas. No. Not what even. kind of goths are voting on this? Okay. Okay. That's, number oh. two, Home Alone. I love me some Home Alone. It's good. Number one, I, I've only seen bits and pieces. Greg, this came out when you were born. It's a Wonderful Life. That, that so came how out was my it? My parents were born, but okay. <laughs> 2,500 people many, voted, Greg. How many weeks before they were born, Greg? Because we're, you know. But yeah, that's, so next year, when they redo this, we're gonna I think 8-Bit it. Christmas might make the top five. So Taylor's watched it. I haven't. It's great. It's good, huh? Great. You were talking it up like. It's Did like, you not see the videos I sent? No. Oh. You said it was the next big thing. First of all, the greatest Christmas movie of all time is Christmas Vacation. So I have sound bites. I have sound bites, and I'll the play them real quick. That movie. I rewatched it. Tevin, I just want to know yeah. will you watch it based on these two vacation. sound bites? Okay. Half. Okay. Yeah. When they're quiet down. What? Die Hard is Shh. not a Christmas movie. Yeah. Yeah, Wisconsin plates. Shocker. First sound bite. Yeah, Wisconsin plates. Shocker. Yeah. Yeah. Of course it's a oh. Packer fan. Two sound bites, Tevin. Will you watch it? I'm intrigued, <laughs> but I don't think I would watch the whole thing. Oh, it's so good. 8-Bit Christmas. Go ahead. You got some fucking bigger than big. No, it's not that big. So I just uh, saw a tweet last week after the Vikings game. Cam Dantzler had threw his gloves up to an 8-year-old boy. Mm -hmm. Fine. An nice. adult, an adult stole them. them. Oh, yeah. So the dad tweets, not looking for anything, not nothing. Oh, you got the fucking whole pack. Just was saying, you know, hashtag be better. Be better. You know, my eight-year-old kid was so excited, was bawling ah. after this happened. Well, Cam retweets it and says, "Build it back." DM man. me, DM me, me privately, and I'm gonna send you something. It's gonna be way better than gloves. Yeah. It's the so then, literally that same day, hours before, I added Delvin Cook, Twist Host Mike. Find me on Twitter. I added him and said, "Look, bro." You gonna pay me back for my jersey I bought of thirty three when you're switching to four? You know what I got? Nothing. Ghost Nothing, it. Delvin. He's dealing with a lot right, right now. Right, because you're a grown ass man asking for a yeah. hundred dollars back. One fifty. One fifty. What this do you mean? Guy was a dad trying to get gloves for his kid. Yeah. Well, it just shows the kind of character Cam Dancer is compared oh to Delvin my Cook. Gosh, <laughs> bro, he just got fucking name dropped in Ev's video. Or, or he's already dealing with that crazy broad. Yeah. Two. And so he needs some good PR. <laughs> So, and so, it ain't coming from some local Guido. local host it ain't coming Guido. From some fucking Guido on a fucking oh, sports podcast and, saying it's a podcast is a stretch at that. And, and, We're and, on yeah. every podcast platform. And him yeah. se just when people find out that he's just sending one hundred and fifty dollars to everybody with a Dalvin Cook jersey, like that's no, I don't want the money. I want box. I want a number four Can, doesn't NFL jersey when he comes out. That? I didn't buy it on NFL Shop. I bought it at Lids. Oh, right. then well, that's your first mistake. Man. Why you, Mike is comparing himself to an eight-year-old? Well, no, I'm you not. You want the same respect. <laughs> you want? I, I just want 
Uh, you want what you justice? You, justice. You, you want justice? Law and order. Where you where you fucked up is you should have tweeted at him and said, "My kid wants his hundred and fifty dollars yeah, back for put the." Put it, it's it's that would have been a lie. It's an adult yeah, size large. He wouldn't have been able <laughs> to fit picture? in the partners. He see the picture. He's gonna grow into it, Dalvin. Yeah. Calm down. <laughs> that's why he got hurt. Karma. For when he turns eighteen. You don't seem to have a problem with your communist boyfriend uh, changing numbers every fifteen minutes and. Uh, LeBron. Yeah. Comrade Kami. No. Yeah. Comrade LeBron. Double standard. Hashtag Roach. I'm all about him doing the dribbling. Shout what he Roach. does off the court. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Here so we go. Got- Matt tried to ruin this he pre-show. Did. He did. I actually had one. And plumber finds cash checks behind loose toilet in wall at Joel Alstein's Lakewood Church. Yeah, yeah. Cashed so- checks? Cash. Cash and okay. checks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Ronnie. He's in recovery. Uh, you, <laughs> <laughs> he's in recovery, baby. Yeah. <laughs> um. So anyway, so allegedly, what happened? No, it's not allegedly. Allegedly, what did they find? So, so essentially, this plumber goes in and does some work and finds six hundred large or what? over in Joel Osteen's place. Which, if you've seen the movie Ozark or the TV show Ozark, that's where you hide your money that you want to launder. It's behind the walls. Let's be real, though. I mean, if God tells you to do something, you fucking do it, dude. All right. Oh God! Now you're starting to sound like you God know, did not if, tell him to do it. God, God told him to put crook. that, put that, keep that money close. Don't trust the bank. He did it. He's wor- he's worshiping and preaching the devils. Is he really? And yeah. What? Oh, like, Joel. Is Joel. He really? Yeah. Right. And like, what fucking conspiracy are you on? Doing I don't a think quick. So. Doing a quick. He's a crook. Hold wow. on, Tevin. Doing a quick Google search. For this story, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was stolen from his own correct from a d- donation right. account, right? So, so they like... said it got six hundred grand got stolen. From yeah, a from the account. donations from the church, and then they found it in a in wall. A wall, right? So somebody not named Joel Olstein, right? No, Joel exactly. Money. I think no. there was some no, 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 funny no, no, business. No, 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 no. I think Ben's Ben's. You're trying yeah. to tell me that not Joel Olstein went yep. into his own church, stole his own. What does money, he need it for? He's worth fifty five million. How did he? How did he? How did he get that high? Like six hundred bucks to this motherfucker. Tell me somebody else. Hid the money they stole I would from blame him it. in his own church. I would, I would get that the sense. employee yeah. roster, Matt, if I'm gonna <laughs> and I would start running some Panda. background checks. Oh. I guarantee you got some, you know, Willis that does maintenance. Essentially, that kinda what, did he just name a black shit. guy? Tell no, Willis is a white <laughs> he name. Just named a what black ta- guy. Tell, name tell three, them that's a biracial name. Yeah, name three Willis. You know, named Willis. The only Bruce Willis. Yeah, come on. So like, essentially, what Matt's, you know. what Matt's saying in human terms, in everyday people terms, is Matt's saying that essentially someone like me would break into Matt's house. You don't look like steal, a Willis. Steal so money out of Matt's you. wallet and hide it underneath Matt's mattress. Right. 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 It's and essentially what you're there. saying. That's right. what you do. For that years. way. If for six years. It, yeah. No. Yeah. No, that was his rainy day account. Right. When he gets raided by the feds yeah. for tax Why evasion. Why would you hide it there? Why wouldn't you hide it somewhere else? Because nobody will look there. Because you can't close. exactly walk out of the church with a briefcase full of cash. Right. 600K in a briefcase ain't a lot, dude. Oh. Come on. That's a, that's a duffel. That's a backpack. In hundreds? It's, it's still getting attention. Right. Now, Joel? You know what, Matt? It's big Rather than, than uh, going to... I don't to, think Joel had anything to do with it. Here's this. Matt's problem. He's got other scams he's running. Here's he's Matt's problem. He's going to the church... But he's going left to Menards yeah. rather than yeah. right into church. Last week, prime example, Tevin. We freaking <laughs> gear up. I'm looking good. She's looking good. We're headed to church. Mike texts, ah, ain't going to make it. Parker's not feeling good. I said, all right, all right. Well, we might still go. He goes, I ain't going to tell and her you said that. We're going. Then I then I go, and we're like getting there. I'm like, man, we need a pooper scooper. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, let's just God understand. Ma- Matt Literally, and- Menards is across the street. They went yeah. across the street Didn't to Menards over church. Matt actually said to me on the way, no, he I- goes, "We're on our way. We're either going to church or Menards. Jesus has the wheel." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and we went to Menards. And we saved big money, baby. Oh. I sent the mail-in rebate in and everything. All right, what's next? <laughs> Jesus, fuck! This is gonna be a three-hour show. Now <laughs> here we fucking go. Now he's using his name in vain. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I- I skipped twist topics. So we're going backtrack to twist topics. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Ooh, good topics. Topics. Yeah, there's some good ones. What do we got? I don't know. What I do we got? got it right in front That's of you, right. dude. Hold on. Let You're me. trying to get up to... Why does it keep have to scroll all the way through? Why can't I don't we? know. I don't know. We're, we're Technical difficulties at NBC. Here we go. <laughs> Fuck. Here we <laughs> go. Gabe, yeah, is that you back there? right now, though. That's good. Twist topic so, number yeah, one. Yeah, nobody's commented saying we can't hear you. Yeah, that's good. Twist topic number one. 
Did USC and LSU make the right moves with Lincoln Riley and Brian Kelly as their new head coach? First. What? Oh, you were going to say Mike. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mike. <laughs> your name is your buzzer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. USC hit it right on the nose. And oh, that's it. I like, you don't like Kelly? Oh, Brian Kelly, who fakes an accent oh, at a basketball game? Which was He's a fraud. Dude, deliver, He's was, a fraud. I've been delivering bread in West St. Paul all week. You know what I've been talking like? What up, bro? <laughs> What's good, champ? Mets, yeah, Mets, I, Mets, I heard, oh, Mets no never been more racist got, than, not, than this not, show. That's just a piece Hey, what's up, G? What's up, G? You need some bread? Yeah, what's up, I'm putting them carbs on the shelf, dog. <laughs> what, would your, what would your new black dog think? Oh, <laughs> I speak right. to him just like, what's her name that was in Blindside? Sandra, Sandra Bullock. Bullock. I speak just like. No, I saw him with. It happens, dude. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It, it completely does. When you're around. When a you're group a, of an people, imposter. When you're for a, a day. No, I, for a day. I've been in rehab in Florida multiple times, okay? Floridians and don't have majority, an accent. Hold. The majority of people that get sent there are from the East Coast. Okay, so it's a lot of New York and Boston. Sam Chatta. Yep, yep. And they're all like, you got a weird accent, you know, all that bullshit. And it's like, listen here, by the end of that rehab, I was speaking with an Eastern accent, bro. Yeah, but that's months. He's got to right. He's got to well, get it. No, he little, was okay. a fraud. Press conference. Where first, is he first born? All, first of all, what, he was born in New York. Um, yeah. Is he? Yeah. Um, Fact check. No, he was born he was in born Massachusetts. In, no, no. no he, yeah, Massachusetts. Yeah. Um, mm. So... Lincoln Riley was ingenious. Bringing a young coach, um, there's a lot of money in that program. The Brian Kelly thing, first of all, to your accent thing, mm -hmm. when Joe Burrow, B-U-R-R-O-W, from Ohio, mm -hmm. played his last home game at LSU. That was dope, though. He, this was cool. He changed his last name on his jersey yep. to be spelled B-U-R-R-O-U-G-H, which is the Cajun way to pronounce oh, it. No, like no, -E 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 R -E -A -U -X. O -E -U -X. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I get what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. So he did it to appease himself to the Cajun, you yeah. know, group. in his last game. In his last game. Right. So it's like, but they love that, that down there. They love that when you appease, you know, to their mm -hmm. culture. Yeah. So but that he didn't that legally respect. change it. He wasn't trying to be a fraud. It was in honor of oh, yeah, them. Right. It didn't show How do you up. Know that and Brian Kelly didn't do that. I mean, you, that's only, more mocking him than anything there's else. Only one Ed Orgeron on this planet, and he was born to be a coach of LSU. Right, but they let him go. But yeah, smart, you know. But, I don't like Brian Kelly. I don't even think he's that good of a coach. Oh, he's a great coach. No, he, he, he loves an elite football mind. The he's best like, thing about the Lincoln Riley that I loved, oh. though, is how they got him. Just with so, it, just with everything. So what he had happens? he had two houses. Yeah, they oh, bought them both. Yeah, they bought them both for five hundred grand above asking. Okay. Bought him a six million dollar house in Los Angeles. Yep. Gave him access to the private jet. Him right. and his family whenever they want. Yep. On top of the contract. And then they were playing uh, Oklahoma State, right? Yep. And they lose after the game. Lincoln Riley steps up to the podium, and the reporter goes, um, "You know, there's been a lot of rumors about possible coaching opportunities elsewhere." And he goes, "I'm not going to LSU." <laughs> Yeah, that's what he says. Yeah. It's like it's like asking Aaron Rodgers if he's been vaccinated. Like I've been immunized. <laughs> like same shit, right? He's like, I'm not going to LSU, and then doesn't tell his players anything. Next day, I'm going to USC. USC a day later. He did not lie. Uh, he did, oh. but it's just so funny how like I'm not going to LSU. And the next day, you're USC. Out. That's gonna be great though. Just Such like, a great fit. And then he makes a tweet like. Oh, yeah, can't wait. We're really excited. And he's like, one of his old players from Oklahoma is like, you said that last week. Us. <laughs> like, you're really excited for the future. Like, yeah, bye. $95 million, bro. Good for them, though. USC, let's go. Yeah. Let's bring back the Trojans. Coliseum. Trojan let's man. Let's go. Malachi oh. jo Johnson? Right? <laughs> no. Jeez. Nelson. Nelson. What a white last name. That's the only thing I don't like about that. Uh, Malachi Nelson. Topic yep. number two. What do you got? Is Bill Belichick coach of the year in the NFL? No. Yes. No. Then if you're no, who do you, would you say is? I'm going with Cliff because I like him. I was going to say I Cliff. Like Cliff. Cliff. Yeah, I, think I that, like him. I think that Cliff can He's clean. got white couches. It's got old. He rented that house. Oh, why not? I have a hard time going with Bill Belichick because of the schedule they played. He's not beating good teams. Sure. I mean, well, maybe if we re-ask this question after Monday night, yeah. it's a different story. 
I think we're. I think it's Cliff Kingsbury because I think in the NFC, which has the most defined good teams. I mean, there's five top teams. Mm-hmm. He's right now nine and two, yeah. and he's had to do a lot of that. A lot of those games without his two best players. Right. That's another thing. Yeah, I like that. So next, yeah, not a lot of quality wins on the Patriots schedule. That's yeah. for sure. Whatever their number, defense is elite. Topic number three. Who Without is your Gilmore. MVP so far at this point in the NFL season? Aaron Rodgers. That's just who I got. That's who I got. It's unfortunate. I'm just thinking the most valuable player you take Aaron Rodgers out in that team is it's Cooper top, Cup. Top five pick. Cooper Cup. No. 92 receptions so far. First. 1,237 yards. First. 10 touchdowns tied for first. Mm-hmm. Won't get it. They don't give it to fucking wide out. Is as much white, as it, white out. especially white white outs. As much as it pained Matt to say Aaron Rodgers, yeah. it pains me to say Tom Brady. Tom Brady. The God! <laughs> but it, it's just because Tom Brady doesn't have that flaw on his resume of this season like every other one does. Mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers had one shit game at the first game of the year and then yep. he missed the game because of COVID. Um, nice. Every other quarterback has that, like even Lamar Jackson, four interceptions in a game. You know, Tom Brady on. Uns- he just He's doesn't Tom have Brady, bad bro. games, but they're not winning games because of him. Mm. No, that's yeah. a great point. Yep, and yep. I don't think they'll give it to a Rodge because of the no. vaccination. Oh, thing. No, he won't. He's got an asterisk on him. Yeah. They no. just no, they don't. You like can't him. glorify that kind of behavior. Right now, a he'll be a he'll, he'll probably finish second in the votes. He's yeah, right now, so what they what the NFL is hoping for because they don't want to give it to Tom Brady either. No, because he's pissed all over the league. Man. I think what they're doing is they're hoping that Kyler Murray comes back. And blows up the league for the rest he's of the season. He's been out too long. Yeah, I think he's been out too long. So too. then you got. That's why you give it to JT Cooper Cup. Just keep steamrolling. This, this would be the year that they would give it to. And if to they Jonathan give, Taylor. if they give the MVP of the league to Jonathan Taylor, yep. if I was Derrick Henry, I would blow up the NFL. Yeah, season. yeah, I would be so <laughs> I know. pissed. That's that. Watch that. That's good. All right, next. good. All right, next up, we've had a lot of rookies this year balling out in the NFL. Who do you guys have for Rookie of the Year? Go. Mac. Mac Jones, man. Would you just put up your racist hand? No. no that's unity. <laughs> no. That's unity that's, for one. That's n- Hitler. Open. You just howled open. Hitler. <laughs> Jesus. We don't. Oh, my God. Mac, Jones is, Mac the, Jones is the epitome of a game manager. Yeah. Great, great for that system. Yeah. He's not the Rookie of the Year. Justin yeah. Herbert. Lights out last year. Yeah. yeah. Lights out. JJ should have got it, but Herbert I could see. Yeah. Mac Jones, absolutely not. Do Who mean? do you got? I have Najee. Jamar Chase no. has had Jamar five Chase. games in a row of f- not even 50 right. yards. That's yeah, he's that's, out. So he's out. He's out. Najee Harris thinking. has 708. Fuck that. 708 like yards, five touchdowns, 52 receptions, and 351 yards and two touchdowns. Micah. I, w- I that's who I went with. I was gonna go Najee. with Chase. It's Micah Parsons. Oh God, yeah, it has to. Be. He's a beast. I think it's Micah. He's Parsons. got Monster. he's got defensive rookie locked up. Yeah. See, yeah. I think that he is. But I think they do both, unfor- offensive and yeah. defensive. Yeah. So Trayvon Diggs gets all the credit. But if you watch Trayvon Diggs play, especially on uh, Thursday night, he gets, he gets burned he gets more roasted. often than he makes an interception. Seventy five percent of the time, he gets. But that's roasted. the kind of player he is. But he just got another. He's fun to watch. Yeah. He's not your. Lockdown, no, Darrell Revis, Revis Island. Yeah, yeah he's Baja. he's still he's tight on the yeah. next. I mean, he made that interception for his ninth of the year on the next. But he's not a rookie. Sa- Last year he was a rookie, oh, okay. second round pick. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's like the next it. the next play. Right, he got burned. Yep. But Micah Parsons is on he's an animal. every play. Yeah. He is a beast. When they drafted him, I was kind of like, "What are you doing? You already have two like." Stud linebackers, and but he's just showing that he is he's Ray Lewis. an animal. He could be just straight up defensive player of the year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he really could. Hell of a player. All right, and then the last topic of the day. Is the NFL racist for not giving Antonio Brown the same punishment as Aaron Rodgers? I, well, I yeah, let's it. go to our uh, let's go to our racist analyst Matt Benz over here. He's on a streak not today. So. I like to say it in an not accent. Racist at all. Yeah, say it in an accent. Yeah, I, I don't. Um, <laughs> It's Matt Benz here. I came up with this question, right? You did. Um, and I'm going to say no, they're not racist, simply because AB has that rap sheet of just being a fucking pile of shit. And they probably told him, like, dude, 
they don't care if you fucking swear at somebody on film. Like, you're going to get fucked. The correct answer isn't because Antonio Bryan is unlikable. The correct answer is because Aaron, the, the Packer organization and the NFL knew the owners. that Aaron... The owners. Us owners. No, the, owners no, the Packers the knew that Aaron Rodgers wasn't vaccinated with one of the three main ones. They knew. Antonio Brown lied to everybody and got a fake vaccination card. Aaron Rodgers never walked around saying, I understand I've been vaccinated, think- here's my card. Right. Yeah. Antonio Brown actually got a fake card. But do you he think that Antonio step. Brown is smart enough to realize that he can just go get a fake card and not be told, hey, bro, I just got my fake card over from this guy? Because that's the story. Ignorance? And stupidity is not a justification. I know people that have faked. Yeah, they're not. They're not racist. Here's the thing: is no, no quarterback in the NFL, white, black, right. anything, is getting suspended for three games. Yeah. I don't care what they do. Yeah, they're just not. not Antonio Brown, 100, percent deserved to be. If he just would have just been like, yeah, I was immunized, yeah. he'd have got the same thing. Yeah. Right. But he, he got fake documentation. Right. I'm surprised the feds aren't going after him. Three hundred dollars, dude. That's all it takes. Yeah, you could yeah. start doing a Minuteman press, dude. Just start pumping. Whoa! Oh. Hey, Whoa. Minuteman press is a, is a legitimate on, business. Start right. pumping right. the motherfuckers Min- out, man. Yeah, wait till wait till Dan hears that. You'll be paying. <laughs> you'll be paying double for any printing moving <laughs> to get forward. Fake cards. We're a yeah. We're a class act. Minuteman press Twist does Nation. not condone the views. No, <laughs> the views of by. Matt Benz. You've heard. You've heard <laughs> oh what's coming. He, he you misses a be bad. He misses Bro, months, sh- and he comes back with this. I don't even want to. <laughs> and you three, were three hundred dollars down to Minuteman Press. You two, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll give you double the amount of cards. Let's go, oh two God. for one. You you were ripping on me before the show about how I treated your mom. Yeah, you just pretty much slammed Mike's family's business. Yeah. What? Mm-hmm. You talking about how other 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 uh, running? I'm trying to give free right. advertising. Oh they don't god! Pay to be on this show, and we're fucking name dropping them. <laughs> Feds, you Holy hear that? That's shit! The feds kicking down <laughs> the right now. Hey, I said they should take advantage of the opportunity. Right now, Gus is in a kennel because they're hauling even... Dan and Kim. Yeah, off. yeah. Yeah. Gus is headed to the farm. You think they're taking Dan anywhere? He ain't going <laughs> fucking anywhere. You step inside that household. Oh, oh God. All right. That's all I've got for the twist topics we are moving on. <laughs> that derailed. Yeah. Headlines. In a good way. Week. Headlines. Got up. I got two for you. I got two. I got wow. three. I got two. Don't, don't pull a hammy doing yeah. any work. Byron Buxton. That's a Minnesota twin. Signs seven-year, $100 billion deal. The new contract came with $1 million signing bonus. He will earn $9 million in the upcoming season and $15 million a year in subsequent seasons. Should he place first in the most valuable player voting during any of the years, he will earn an additional $8 million that year. Second through 10th place finishes and MVP voting will also net him additional bonuses. Buxton will be able to earn an additional $2.5 million per season based on plate appearances as well. <laughs> here's, get him. Here's the problem. You get upset because you have to do the headlines. You have to do homework. Yeah. Yeah. They're called headlines, not what's the story <laughs> right. and then the entire story that goes with yeah, it. I wanted to if tell you would have one or two sentences, this Greg, wouldn't be that see, big of a deal. See, I show Just up a quick headline. I show up about once every six months, Greg, and now I get to say a paragraph and you fucking <laughs> you hate it's on me. It's not called the stories of the week. It's called the headlines. The headlines. <laughs> quick flash. Next headline. Wild beat the Devils 5-2 to two and extend a winning streak of five games. That's all I got. Have a good one. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Glad I showed up today. Back to you, Mike. Appreciate it. That's all I got for the rest of the show. Hang on. At the end of the show, Greg will tell you about his life and give you his final thoughts, and he'll say a fucking novel for you. And then he'll go home and read it, James. Patterson. I guess we're not going to have any uh, parlays nope, either because he nope, just don't need it. it. We're good. Next topic. <laughs> Glad I drove an hour for this, Tevin. What, what's up, Seth? Yeah, I think you're way back on the comments go here. What go do we ahead. got going on? Go ahead. <laughs> don't even, don't even, Greg. I don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> next, next. Next up, we have the history. Now he's got to look up the... Let's do the parlay. <laughs> I got it right here. Nope. We'll do that next. It ain't your time. Let's go it's right here. It's my time. Oh, fucking Greg got me all fucking <laughs> out now. All right. On this day in history, December oh, here we go. 4th. Oh, thank God. 1619. 38 colonists from Berkeley Parish, England, disembark in Virginia and give thanks to God. Mm. Considered by many the first Thanksgiving in the Americas. 1619. 
1674, Father Marquette builds first dwelling in what is now Chicago. Marquette. 1836, where am I looking? Right there? Okay. No. Nope. Wig nope. party. And this is a question for... There? Yep. Yeah. yep. There it is. Yeah. Yep. 1836, Wig Party holds its national convention, first ever in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Greg, what's a Wig Party? Wig Party is kind of like the old, you know, Republicans, Democrats. Oh, the got Wig it. Party was Because they were wigs. The ye old party. Yep. 1867, former Minnesota farmer Oliver Hudson Kelly founds the Order of the Patrons of Husbandry, better known today as the Grange. No idea. I was going to say glad it we said learned, Minis- it glad said Minnesota. We that today. Could have been. Google it and learn something. Yeah, could, folks. Have, could have said also known as. I don't think it's better known as. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I didn't do this. 1881, the first edition of the Los Angeles Times is published. Mm, great fake news. Matt, this, can I have a hug? This one's for you, Tevin. God damn it. 1906, Alpha Pi Alpha. Were you in a fucking frat? No, I was not. I'm not a. F- they wouldn't no. take you in, right? I'm not paying. Damn North for Dakota. Thank you. North Dakota. They ain't taking are... anybody. No. no. It was no the first people. black Greek no. letter fraternity formed. Alpha Pi Alpha. The only acceptable fraternities <laughs> are the ones that do step shows down south. Everybody else can go fuck off. Step shows, as in like, like Nick the... Cannon. No, like have you seen like the like yeah step Nick up? Cannon step like no, step not up like step up. What's the uh... step up? So Channing Tatum. No. Are you talking about that thing that was on uh, Drumline? We road road trip. Drumline. Step. You mean like hey ho? Yeah, that stuff. There you go. Yeah, that was on that was on road trip, and then that nerd went on the stage. (laughs) Oh, the the. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, oh shit. All right, all 1920, up. first pro football playoff game. Buffalo 7, Canton 3 at the Polo Grounds in NYC. 1927, Duke Ellington opens at the Cotton Club in Harlem. Duke. I'm surprised he played at a place called the Cotton Club Why? in Harlem. It's pretty racist. It's also like your, the most you, famous club in yeah. the history of Yeah, why'd they name it that, though? 1961, the Jeez. female contraceptive pill becomes available on the National Health Service in Britain. Dumping loads and all these broads. Huh? 1982, <laughs> months after the death of drummer John Bonham, Led Zeppelin announces they will disband. Oh, I forgot, Greg. This was a good day in Greg's life. 1981, Falcon Crest. What's that? It premiered on CBS. You remember it? It was like a primetime drama. <laughs> And no, I don't remember. I mean, I, remember, I don't remember, remember the name. It was a big deal. I like Dallas. Falcon Crest. Yeah. Sounds badass. 1982, 48th Heisman Trophy Award, Herschel. Was it him? Walker. Herschel. We didn't we get him? Yeah. It was the worst trade Ran of out of his shoe. Right? Ran out of his shoe. 1997, NBA suspends former Golden State Warriors guard Latrell Sprewell for Spree. one year for attacking Sad Coach story. PJ. Carlesimo. He's just a sad story. Spree's he had the spree wells from Milwaukee. Oh, Wisconsin. I remember I had him. The da da's. Yeah. The spree wells. I need to I need to feed my family. Yeah. Good luck with that. When you don't get a contract, you fucking crazy fuck. All right. That's all I got. Oh, I'm gonna all need right. that for power rankings, right? And I know that's what we were talking about. We were joking around about that. Oh, fuck me. And for those of you keeping track at home, the cotton club was named by the owner to appeal to white people. So yes, racist. Thank you. Oh, that's sad. Well, that a boy, next, Greg. See, Greg's, he feels Greg's bad. Wrong. You got him. I all. made him feel guilty for a second. And we are doing NFL power rankings. Maybe. All right, Greg. Greg. I forgive you. Let's do some power rankings. Matt had a tantrum and needed his sheet. Oh, so fuck. Greg, being the the bigger man, oh, helped him out. Power rankings. Go ahead. You start. Ten through six. Got the Rams coming in at seven and four. The Bills at nine. The Cowboys at eight, the Bengals at seven, and the Chiefs at six. I got Rams, ooh, Bills, ooh, Cowboys, ooh, Ravens, ooh. Bengals. All right. I have Bengals at ten, Titans at nine, Chiefs at eight, Cowboys at seven, Ravens at six. Did you do this? The Titans. Yeah. All right. Wow. They're still winning games even though they don't have. Not really. The King. They were for like the first two weeks. I didn't. Why have the Rams? What? The Rams. What do you mean? They're seven what do you and four. Mean they're elite. Yeah, but they're not. They've lost a couple. They're elite. They're a playoff team. Well, the, okay. So I think that we all have the same ten teams. No, you, I, don't I don't have, have the. Titans. Titans. I don't have the Titans in. You guys have the Rams. You like? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that was our swap. All okay. right. 
All right, top five: Ravens, Bucks, Patriots, Pack cards. Chiefs, Patriots, Bucks, Pack cards. Bills, Cardinals, Bucks, Patriots, Packers. There's a whopper. You fucking put the cards put the, where? They the the four. They lost to the Packers when the Packers were down their best receiver and they were at full strength. Were they at full strength or was they just playing? They. You, know you had I mean? the Bills you at five? I have mean? oh, the Bills at five. Wow. All right, Which, All right Greg. I talk like about it. a train off the tracks. I like it, Greg. You can't out if you know. Don't fling it again. You got can't, it? Why? What do we need now? Don't you have your profit? Oh, I got that on the phone. Oh, right. fling it. It's time to, time you to make see that? Money. He's going to need it for something. How you throw yeah, it right like he, that? I hope he does. Did you see how cool that looked? Fucking went up in so the cool, man. Went up into the king. Like, You're a star, man. Like Aladdin. <laughs> it's like Dude. Aladdin magic carpet. Oh, shit. Nikes. All right, Papa's, Papa's profit parlay. So, Papa, sorrow, right? Yep. All right. So the motherfucker is on a hot streak. Is he? Yeah, he's up. Like, wait, th- 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 don't be specific. You don't know if the oh, missus yeah. is aware of. Well, no, sh- no, that's all right. He's up substantially. All right. Now we all know it goes in waves. So this is his parlay for this weekend, and it is going to be. San Francisco and Seattle under 45 and a half. Oh, good call. Yeah, I'd take that. Philly favored by seven. You writing this down, Tevin? Yep. Miami favored by six. So $50 bet will get you close to 300 bucks. Yeah, Miami over the Giants without Danny Dimes. Yep. I love those. Minus six. That's great. And You're then winning. You also, today, for you guys that like college football, Georgia is favored by, I think, almost a touchdown over Alabama today. So Hammer Alabama. Hammer Alabama. Yep. Yep. Hammer Alabama. The other one is Trust Saban. Yeah. They yep. just gave another half point Trust to Bryce. Cincinnati. It's ten and a half on the Cincinnati Houston game. I would jump all over Houston. I think that Cincinnati still wins. I just don't think they're gonna win by oh, the yeah, we got pickups. That's right. I want to see I'm where a, we're at. Yeah, I'm excited to see where we're at. Ah, next. Next, Tevin! Next up. Meatloaf! Fuck. Ah, the uh NFL pickup. Where are we, we at, Greg? Okay. So, this is the one where the loser has to do an eating challenge. Yeah. Correct. I know there's a lot of weeks left, and I know that we pick every game for the playoffs, but for the love of God, Tevin, you might want to get your bib ready. It can't be that bad. Right now, Mike is leading the pack at 33-26-1. Matt and I are tied at 31 28 and 1. Games. I've yeah. continued to have like a two game streak. Yeah. And and we're, you know, Teetering. when we're not having shows, Greg's sending them out yep. and we're all different and I'm taking some risks. Yep. Yeah. And they're all they're all messaging me Where's back Tevin privately. At? Tevin is at 28 31 and 1. Wow, you Tevin. are 5 back. games behind Tevin. You're 5 games behind Mike, 3 games behind a lot the of season left. Lot I get it. Left. I get it. You ain't getting out of this like fantasy football, oh. Tevin. I'll tell you that right fucking now, dude. <laughs> All right? I'm, I'm hungry, so I will. We'll, Shit. Also, our fantasy football league is fucked. Did, did, <laughs> we still love you, Tevin. It's all did, right. We kind of caught you to join it anyways. Did we also <laughs> decide on whether or not, does it have to be a massive amount of food challenge, or can it be like a like spicier than death? It can be a food challenge. It's a food so, challenge whatever. that the three... Conspire. Winner, yeah. yeah. We'll we'll discuss on the show. We'll okay. bring everybody. Will do a little research. Yeah. We'll bring it to the table. We'll vote. We'll decide. Got um, it. Okay. Say because like looking at the quick, there's like 20, 30 inch pizzas that you can eat. Oh. Two pound, bur- three pound burgers. I want, like, yeah, there's a ton of stuff. Pasta yeah. challenge. That's what I want. Oh, I'm all over it. And that, I, like a lasagna deep dish. I want to pick something that's going to be extremely difficult to. Yeah, and I'm thinking that if but let's, also achievable. Yeah, let's just hype. Well, anything's like, achievable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's just hypothetically say that Tevin loses. Okay. Hypothetically. I'm hoping Matt loses. I will more than likely still do the challenge. <laughs> yeah. I will not. <laughs> You're hoping I lose? What the fuck are you talking about? Greg should lose. Why? Greg can eat. Uh, uh, that's true. We're doing him a favor. Yeah. It's like. All right. What do you got? You're First saving game. me from the decision of having to decide what I eat that day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. First game this week. Cardinals. Minus seven and a half over the Bears. I'm going Cardinals. Cardinals. Where's it at? I don't know. It's Andy Dalton again. Yeah, yeah Cardinals. That's still a lot of points, though. Is Kyler fucking Kyler's back? Yep. Cardinals. He's, that's then. up in the air, yeah. But 
And then we'll just wash All that right. game out. Yeah. Mike is going first on this one. Okay. Bengals minus three over the Chargers. Where's it at? I'm not doing the whole where's well, it at Well, I need to shit. know that, Greg. He yeah. makes a know. difference. We need to know who's home. I, I haven't done that all year. I know you haven't. That's why I'm asking. Three and a half? Like no, it's, it's three. home for the it, Chargers. It is? It's three. Yeah. So Bengals win by three. They Against the Chargers. I'm going Chargers. Matt's going Chargers, even though I said Mike. I'm going first. Bengals. That's all right. I want him, I want him to fucking go over there. Greg. I want first picks here. I'm going to go Chargers, too. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Like also that. going Chargers. Yes, oh, let's go, Cincy! Whoa. We have Chiefs minus nine and the hook. Ooh. That's nine and a half. Ooh. Over the Broncos. Where's that one at, Tevin? I am also need weather. <laughs> yeah, now you're asking for two. Win no, percentage. Gonna, uh, where, what is it? You, once you tell me where it's at, I'll tell you. <clears throat> Chiefs, Broncos. Yep. It is in Kansas City. Okay. Yeah, I'm going Chiefs. What are you doing, Greg? I'm going. I'm going Broncos. It was nine and a half. Yep. I do these. Chiefs. I do these Chiefs. on Friday morning. Nope, it's gonna be sixty-six and fucking no wind. Patty's about to ball out. Yeah, I'm going Chiefs. <laughs> if there was, some you just swayed them. <laughs> yeah, if there was some wind, are I was going. Are you going Chiefs? Yes. Yes. Yep. And this goes against everything that I believe in on this whole thing because I'm lazy and I like to do this all at once. Taking the Monday night game because it's the game of the week. Bills minus two and a half over the Patriots. And it's in Buffalo. It's in Buffalo, and I can tell you right now they are it's expecting snow, a rain. A lot of they're expecting a rainstorm. Oh, yeah. I see a lot. yeah, they're expecting like sleet. Um, close game, Patriots. Bill, Bill will fucking cheat his way out. Mikey. Of that one. I'm going Bills. Yeah, I I'm like going. It. I'm going Bills too. Oh, I this like is, it. This is my. This gap is game. where. This is the week where <laughs> yeah. I make up three games on Mike. <laughs> Put me down for the Patriots. <laughs> Let's, Let's go, go <laughs> Back Daddy. And now the last game: the Vikings minus seven and a half. And yes, I already know it's at Detroit. Over at the, Detroit. Over the Lions. Yes, it's at Detroit. Give me the Vikings. Tevin, Tevin takes the Vikings. Give me the Vikings. That's a Seven and a half is a lot. After Detroit. After we embarrassed ourselves the first time. I'll go Vikings. Detroit. Vikings win by fucking a field goal. I'm good. That, that, nope. No Matt's Alvin. taking the Lions. Mikey, Greg? Mikey? You go. I'm taking the Lions. And I, I'm willing yeah, to. You go, scoliosis. You got to. Yeah, I'm going to take the Lions then, too. Oh, we'll I'm give Tevin. Four games this week. We'll give Tevin one, yeah. but I don't want to. Yeah. Not nope. those two. Nope. I'm not throwing out a fishbowl bet, but. Would any of you be willing to bet me five to one that the Lions win outright? I'll, I'll bet the Lions will win this game outright, but you got to give me five to one odds. No, because it's not worth twenty bucks for me to pay you a hundred. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. But, yeah. No. Yeah. Right. I'd have to bet you like a hundred, and then I'd owe you five, and that would. Yeah. That, that, that would... was that was a talk on yeah. Minnesota radio. Is um, everyone was talking about like what would the number be? I would hit the under. On whatever that is. Oh, I think it's going to go over by a mile. So. I think it's going to be one of those paint drying. Fucking no, I don't. I think the Vikes are. Games. No. I hope not, because. But that's just what they do. They play to the other team's level. It's going to be slow roll. Alexander Madison will get fucking thirty three rips. I think it's going to be an Ingag way. Ingag way. Yeah. I'll tell you what. For one of my DraftKings lineups this week, I did take Jared Goff and T.J. Hawkinson. Hawkstrap. Hawkstrap. Uh, you ain't going to win any money there. Oh, that's too no. bad. That's a donation. Next. All right. Next up, we have the fantasy basketball update. All right. That's still going on, too? Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the show, man. Holy fuck. How many segments we got? So. By the way, before, before, Mike, <laughs> before Mike lists what the final is, what is the... Uh, What's the cha- uh, the bet for this one? Running, running. What's I will be more than happy running. to run three five k to the studio. Then we're doing for the show. how many? Who's who's doing it? Everyone but the winner. Okay. Yep. And so, I am willing to run because of one thing. What? And I would like to see Mike win this because Mike took Giannis, and just to be spiteful, I took LeBron. So the entire three point whatever miles I would be running, I would be laughing the whole time because Mike's guy is a bum. Damn, he really wanted to get that out, dude. Well, speaking of Mike, uh, I'm six and zero. Oh, that's because you have Giannis. Six and zero, 
You all three are all shot. two and all four. My guys are fucking hurt. That's why. Uh, yeah, we've been. I'm just de- battling. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I have LeBron. So through six, played. I almost have. I'm almost in. Yeah. So there's four games left. So not quite. I could. You guys could. You know. Who do I play? I, you this week? No, I just worked you. <laughs> so me and Tevin play week seven. GBG <laughs> and Ben. So the three at two and four. Kiss the ring, dude. Uh, yeah, right? I know. I don't want to hear it. You whipped me in basketball. I tapped that ass in football, dude. That's all that matters. You did. Yep. You can thank uh, Jonathan Taylor. Benzie can't run no 5K. No let's way, be Ronnie. Bro. It's, it's three I'm point. When I told walking. him when we came up, no, you won't be walking. Cart, bro. No walking. All no right. walking. Beep, beep. You have to at beep, least do. You got to try. You have to. You have to it's got to be a strut. Yeah, you got to try. Twist. Coming through. Move. I'll have my golf cart. Move. He will not. I'm running. I'll move my legs. But, Ronnie, you are right. There's yeah. no way Mike's running a 5K. Matt. 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 Yeah. Jeez, I'm already sorry. training. I'm already training for Craig, it. Craig will be because my Craig will be at the starting line, and he'll go to take off, and he'll be like, ah! ah! I'll probably go 10-0, and 0, make it to the championship, and lose. <laughs> yeah. That boy, yeah. John and then and Tevin, Tevin will end up winning because he's the one who's actually in the best shape. Yeah. And he'll be able to laugh at us and watch. Right. The best, the he'll be in the golf cart he'll, driving ahead of us. He'll, have, while we he'll run. have his model girlfriend at the fucking finish line. And like, Prince in his baby, lap. Baby, <laughs> baby, you need some water. You know? he will be like, nah, babe, I'm good. I'm good. I'm a real man. <laughs> I'm a fucking, I was a college a football studio receiver. I own a fucking studio, <laughs> bitch. Like, come on. Yeah. All right. Next. Uh, next up, we have Would You Rather. Yep. We're not doing the music. Fuck it. That's, oh, yeah. You did all right. Would you I mean, you're not doing the music. <laughs> not doing well, it. I'm not doing it. Dude, he plays it. Well, I need to tap dance while we find Dun, 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 dun. I, how, how dare Greg wear that hat with that fucking... Yeah. Shirt. He's like, oh, Such I, wore, a I wore the wild hat for you today. I did. Thanks. To overlap it with that fucking disgusting ass pullover. Yeah, that thing the Chiefs. is... That, that has zero that, to do with right, whose it is. Right. It could be fucking anyone. Mahatma Gandhi's. Yeah, don't matter. Nope. Nope. I love the Chief. I would never wear it. No. I didn't want to. I didn't want to wear the twist hat, which is what I wear every other day. Because yeah. I didn't want to be it's that good guy. Up. It's a good hat. Uh, I didn't want to yeah. be the guy that wears the hat to the show that you're actually We're on. going to the cup, state of hockey, looking like the state of hockey again. Tevin, what oh, the fuck right. are you doing? Well, because I just remembered we're out of would you rather sheets. Yeah, so just let's, let's do a quick Google fast. search. Here yeah. we go. Oh, okay. Would you rather have the ability to see 10 minutes into the future? Yes. Or 150 years into the future? 10 minutes. Yeah. Because I can financially gain from 10 minutes. 10 the minutes. So can 150 think about would how just much be you scary. Could. I don't know, though. Because you can put in a bet on a horse race within 10 minutes of the start time. Right. You yeah, can, and you don't want to know too far into the future because then you could, it could be adjust the Matrix. It. You could adjust it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that movie coming out. All right. Would you rather have telekinesis? I don't know what that to, is. The ability to move things move with, your shit with your mind. Okay. It's a Jedi or, powers. Tel- uh, telepathy, the ability to read minds. Read minds. I do not. I don't want to know. What's I do going not on want to read minds. Yeah, no, too much. you get to choose. Yeah, I'd rather move shit. I'd think about if shit. I could yeah. move. What are you gonna do with moving shit? Dude, if I think about it. If you could turn on and off the telepathy, where think, you could pick whose mind you're sure. Reading. Right, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I'm already an overthinker. I'm already where thinking. No, like, but if this is like sleepless in Seattle, where it's just an open feed to everybody's mind. No, I don't want that. No, that's no, that's yeah, what, women what, what women want. Women want. Oh, sorry, yeah, there. Yeah, whatever. no, I don't want that either. Next, uh, w- no, are you sure that's not sleepless? No. No, it's no, not it's sleepless, sleepless in Seattle. In Seattle. It's Tom about... Hanks and Meg Ryan. Anyway, <laughs> would you rather team up with Jeez. Wonder Woman or Captain Marvel? I don't know who either are. I would Wonder rather Woman. tag. She flies. I'd rather tag team. Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman Wonder Woman is Gal Gadot, and <laughs> Captain Marvel is uh, that other Brie Larson. Broad. Brie Larson. Yeah, yeah, no, she don't hit it. Like the better superhero Gadot? is Captain Marvel. Yeah, by far. Yeah. So yeah. if we're but teaming up, I want Wonder Woman to bring that whip. Oh, God, the lasso of truth. Yeah. I think the last thing you want is someone to, is you having to spill yeah. the truth on someone. Yeah. She'd hit um, you with that. You, she would leave. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't need this. Would you rather? Um, would you rather be in jail for five years or be in a coma for a decade? So five or ten? Yeah. Do yeah, a five jail year for fit? five years? Yeah, but if you're in coma for a decade, it's like you just went to sleep and woke up. I don't care. 
at least I can go pump iron. Yeah. I could do drugs. Yeah, if you're doing it in Minnesota, Watch the bikes. Right. Nah, okay. you, you can make money off yeah. of being in a coma for 10 years. You, you can have fantasy football in there, too. Yeah. <laughs> On paper. Sweet. Also, Old school. I'm in. So here's one that this might end some relationships. Would you rather have another 10 years with your partner? Or a one night stand with your celebrity crush. Oh, no. well, I don't have a I partner, so no. I'll take that one night yeah, stand. Yeah, I'll take the the partner. <laughs> Mike's that's like, that's fine. M- Mike's like, is this real? Can I take their at this point? Stand? Yeah. <laughs> at this point, so do I get three? <laughs> Who the fuck has time for a one night stand? Nobody, dude. Not even Mike. Fuck. Mike's finding ways to make time. No, he's he's looking for love, man. Mike's I'm staying with the one I got for ten more for however. Add ten years. That's, yeah, that's your side of the story. You don't know what she thinks. <laughs> we'll do. Jesus, we'll do, we'll do a couple more. Uh, would you rather be chronically underdressed or overdressed? Greg, overdressed. I know you're. Right. Yeah. Greg, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfectly fine being underdressed. <laughs> Me too. Though. Chronically. Yeah, I'm all right with it. No, I'm, I'll I show dre- up as James Bond everywhere. I dress nice before for looking work. like Greg everywhere. I dress nice. Yeah, he for wears work his, and finest <laughs> <laughs> his finest vest. His finest goes through his vest closet. Oh, I love it. Actually, uh, this is not vest season, and this has been bothering oh, you're me. Co- this is vest season. It? No, I'm not I'm coding it. Still, I'm not coding it. Gotta wear a hoodie under the vest. That's how you no, get it's, around it. No, I, I long sleeve shirts, so I have some nice button That's downs. Not enough layers, though, Greg. Cool. I, I wear long sleeve or uh, Under Armour. <laughs> I wear long sleeve. I know, but very that's good. Not enough. All right, next. Okay, would you rather be <laughs> eleven feet tall or nine inches tall? Eleven feet. That'd this isn't cool. Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Nine inches? Yeah, that'd be tough. Then you your dick's get... like a centimeter. Well, you wouldn't get very far. That's the problem. <laughs> you know, like it would covering t- ground. It would take you forever. So. And you'd die right away. Why? Yeah, someone would step on you. No, you'd An you could, ant would eat you. You could finesse. Yeah, no. I'm going 11 feet. Yeah, 11 tall. feet. You'd have to hop, be a flea and hop on a dog and just. 11 feet, easy. Okay, thanks. <laughs> you're going to die when you're like 21 because none of them towers make it. Yao Ming, where's he at? He's alive. He's alive. Frozen. <laughs> He's frozen. They're trying to bash him He's for later. He's doing just fine in, in uh, China. Yeah. So they say. He's the Chinese You think they're president. giving you the real information? They're putting out tweets for him themselves. <laughs> Hi, this is Yao Ming. I'm doing great right now. No one has taken me. I'll be okay. Have have a nice day. I, I, Dear Yao. Dear love, Yao. love Yao. Dear Why Yao. He's Ming. writing a message to himself. Dear you Yao. It's chick? Yao. Yeah. That chick that got taken? Oh, yeah. And she sent out a tweet. And it's like, hello, this is Matthew. I am safe. No one has taken me. <laughs> oh, so that's real. Yeah. Must have a blue check mark. Yeah, All good right. for them. And then last one. Lastly. Would you rather work an overtime shift at a job you hate? That ain't happening. You ain't working. Or no spend a full day with your mother in law. Oh, oh, I would spend it with the mother in law. Yeah. Yeah. Full day with Lori. I could me and Lori would go out and have a hoot. I'll work overtime, make time and a half. <laughs> <laughs> me and Julie hang out now. I was hoping for more exciting answers. Yeah, I bet you were fishing. We're yeah, he's Hopefully over there. He's holidays. over there with the rod. He's ruining holidays. Casting it so out. Matthew, I happened to watch Twist. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Wasn't a big fan of your answer. <laughs> All right, Greg. All right, GBG. Take Fuck. Us home. So right now in the news, the news is being just polluted with everything involved with people who know Jeffrey Epstein or. You know, stories involving, you know, the importance or lack of importance with the new variant of coronavirus. Omnicron. Well, here's the thing. Let's not forget that today is the 4th of freaking December. Mm. Why don't we forget all of this bullshit and remember the most important thing? Christmas. That Christmas is up. I mean, little things. My daughter's got a solo at the Mall of America oh, Wednesday morning. It's going to do but it. But everyone has yeah. these things. Mike, you have twins. Yeah. I'm about 150% sure that they have some sort of a Christmas concert coming up. Something dealing with that. Yeah. Why don't we just turn off the bullshit and go back to what this whole time is about? Yeah. Enjoying this the simplicity of Christmas. Love it. You know, let's let's get are we doing it if we're doing a show next week, we need to do Christmas presents again. Yeah. yeah. Next all week. of that next week all Christmas of that simple then. stuff. 
Let's get yeah. back to that. Let's not worry about Omicron or who went to Epstein Island. Oh, let's I'm worry about more that. about. Yeah, let's worry about that. He Christmas. Sa- he sends me <laughs> updates I, I, on. The- I got it too. I'm worried. About I got it yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. But I tell you what, my I blood it. is flowing with the Christmas spirit. Yeah, it is. We have to do Christmas presents because I'm getting Mike the most Mike appropriate gift in the history of Oh yeah, we'll do Christmas next week here live at NBC Multicast Studios. Thanks for tuning in, episode 76. Otis! Otis, I'm on the way! Not Tom Brady. Thank you, Twist. Thank you, GBG. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Tevin. As always, some Dima Cash. Twist, no script. No script no Legends script. coming through on the guest list. Let's get it. TC, Minnesota, land of the lakes. Boo, Green Bay. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Yelling skull with the woes. You know we don't play. Oh. We get wild every single day. Every single we got day. our flaws, but we love our saints. Twist nation. Twist nation. Going like our page.